Hello folks, it is me. I'm Biggie and I'm back. And uh here's a little bit of a surprise. Despite my current situation, I think it's a good time for me to revisit an old old classic. And I want you guys to appreciate the entire thing in its full high definition glory. And uh yeah, this is pretty much like a test video to see how well this uh, software performs and if things go well we will continue into let me just adjust this camera a little bit here yeah we will continue into a uh, uh, more of this game but this is unlimited saga replayed so I'm gonna show you my current setup for the moment um, as you can see here since I'm not as able as before, the problem with me playing this game is that I actually need to use the keyboard now um, because there uh, aren't any viable options to be able to use the joystick. Um, as you can see here, um, this is for me to use for the analog stick. If you saw my uh, 3k subs video without this little doohickey right here it's going to be real tough for me to uh, actually play and um, since uh, we are playing this game let's go back uh, to the very first character I played and I want to improve the footage into uh, HD so let's play a bit of Laura. What do you think you're looking at? Come any closer to me and you'll get hurt. Nice, isn't it? Nice, sharper graphics. And of course, this is no secret, I'm playing this on an emulator and recording this at 60 FPS. So hopefully you guys can appreciate the finer details of the graphics now when it's in 1080p. Um, to be fair, the original graphics wasn't 1080p or anywhere this close. Is Viva Kalina. It is the hamlet where I first met Laura. The funeral of her husband, Pablo, has just ended. But it was a funeral without a body. Her beloved Pablo died in an accident while traveling. Is that should be double the L? Oh, never mind. Were left behind. The cracked lenses gave little clue as to Pablo's fate. No, oh, poor Pablo. Nice. Enjoying the sharpness? Sure, you better, because this is taking up a lot of uh, space in my computer just to record. Nice, we see our first parry here by Laura. And off we go. Yep. So I'm gonna set. I'm not sure if I'm gonna set any kind of specific rules uh, uh, for this particular run through. I might just do a proper run so that, like, uh, you guys can enjoy this. I do not know. Don't know much, huh? And she basically. Change this outfit. <laughs> so, from Prince to Edge Lord in a matter of minutes. Yep. Okay. And of course, we're going to talk about the Festival of Regina Leon. So, he could go to Bath Dome. Kind of a MacGuffin kind of quest that we are trying uh, our best to. Uh, move ourselves towards that destination. Okay. Let's see here. I want to just make sure I remember all the old things that I need to... Oh, wow. Okay. Immediately I'm struck by the uh, amount of stuff I actually want from this shop. Namely these two Moloch stuff. Yep. And uh, let's go ahead and 
No. Cancel. I've mapped it so WASD is actually the, the correct direction of buttons. You can also see that um, the analog stick over here works too. But the reason why I haven't, if you see the live stream earlier, the reason why I haven't actually used this is because of the, fa the fact that the game forces you to use the analog stick to move around. And no matter how, um, no matter how uh, detailed, what's the, uh, no matter how, uh, uh, it's still, it's, if, if you can only map uh, four directions on the analog, so it's a bit tough. Okay, so we have a boulder, a boulder bestial dagger. So anyone who wants to use a boulder. Uh, but none of these actually provide the, the support that we need. So, um, just looking through. Can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, we can't. Uh, we don't want any of these unless it's a weapon that has a support skill. But let's go ahead and go to the snowman's hat inn and go to our equipment. Uh, Laura has a fang knife on her, which is okay. It's defensive. Good thing, because she'll be the one in front. She also has a. a Earth support and fire arts, um, bestial armlet, which is unique only to her, and a scale amulet. Um, let's have a look at the uh, items we have on her here. Uh, carnelian that lets us use fire shield, a cop's target, and uh, headgear or fur. Okay. So, let's see what we could get rid of here. I think the fur hood um, is something we could get rid of. Uh, and so is the scale amulet, unfortunately. Let me just look through here. We have a life protection unique to Henri here. An oak wooden armlet that we probably want to keep for crafting. Fur shield that has evasion. And some cloth boots. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out the fur for the target here. Um, because we want to keep the cops. And we want to add any headgear. Um, oh, metal support. Okay, so let's keep you. And against our better judgment, we'll remove the scale amulet. And with that, we have, uh, we want to go shopping, um, and since we are, um, at the beginning of the game, might as well switch over to, um, Angri. uh, use, uh, skill, we don't have a monger skill, but we do have Maharaja, so, We'll barter with items. Let's go ahead and pick the uh, uh, scale amulet here. Oh, buckler. Yep. And select. And also buy this other Moloch here. And unfortunately for you guys, you have to sit through me um, doing this kind of slow lifestyle because Yep. As you can see here, we can't uh, go quickly like we used to, but that's okay. Um, I'll go as fast as I can with what I have, and that's my general outlook on life now. No need to rush. Pablo. Aww. Like, um... At this point in my life, I'm a little bit um, <laughs> surprised with the fact that, actually, I used to think Laura was kind of like uh, the older, more mature woman, but she's several years younger than me at this point, so... 
it's a little bit of a... a weird situation. Okay. And I just couldn't imagine, now that I've uh, grown older, I couldn't imagine the... the what, what it would be like, actually, to lose a loved one like that. Well, I could, but I just don't want to. But anyways, here we go. We could move. Um, we don't have a skill for a road guide, so... We probably want to um, go as far as we can, uh, to as many areas as we can, and fighting anything that we can. Step back, little man. I shall join you. And with this, we're heading into combat. And we'll probably want uh, Laura to do punches. Or well, Henri, just go ahead and also do punches. Or quick thrusts. Um, actually, you need to do a couple of punches and a quick thrust to finish things off. And of course, we're going to press circle to combo into uh, our opponent here. Um, let's see here. Let's circle. Okay. Ah, that's not very good. And we're not expecting to get any skills at the beginning, but quick thrusts are important. That's what she said. But yeah, um, the uh, quick thrust skill is actually quite important here to make sure we do LP damage at least. But, okay. As you can see, um, yep. And we could uh, go ahead and, yep, do a preemptive attack here. Mm -hmm. Okay, our opponent is still tanking our hits, so let's go ahead and just go circle, circle, okay. That should do it though. Yep, and we could just go and have a look here at Henri. Let's see if I could remember how to use the menus here. Let's go and skill. Um, switch target. Where's the target? Oh, there we go. Okay, so Henri's blind. Um, so let's rest him up for a bit. And let's head down. And let's see if we could uh, find any traps or other things in uh, this particular area. Oh, we have a big monster here. Yep. Okay. Let's combo a quick thrust into our opponent here. Nice. And then we will combo like that. Okay, losing two LP is not very uh, good for Laura. But it's fine. We have plenty of time to stand by and rest. 
Uh, for those of you who are like averse to wanting to enjoy this at a more regular speed, oh, okay. Uh, feel free to speed up, up the video, I completely understand. Because, like I said, I'm going to be a little bit slow, a little steady in recording these footages. And here we are, as we head towards our first uh, mini boss. Fighting to defend Prince Henri here. And let's go ahead and this nice. But the Sonic Thrust is good. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to combo into him. Nice. Fang Knife doing its work. Uh, let's see if I could time this correctly. Nope. Still don't got it. <laughs> Close, no cigar. Nice. Let's have a look at our character's LP here. Henri is depleted, so is Laura. So that means it's a good time for one of them to heal, but that's fine. Let's see if we could uh, slowly eliminate all these little guys here. Nice. Like, this game is relatively forgiving, so uh, you won't lose your character by the, the first um, battle in the game, so. Just taking my time here. Good. And if you're new to the series of Unlimited Saga, uh, I'll tell you a little bit of history of this game. Uh, Unlimited Saga is a uh, game for the PlayStation 2, and uh, it was one of the more, as part of the Saga series, which usually has this innovative style of uh, game uh, that is not typical uh, JRPG fare. So basically, if Final Fantasy was the mainstream series, Saga was their experimental series. And um, people got kind of turned off by this game simply because um, the Saga um, franchise wasn't as... well. This game was very, very poorly managed in the U.S. Because you can see that um, they said, oh no, uh, we're at the age where graphics is everything. And this came off the trails of the likes of Final Fantasy X, which was pushing the limits of graphics by th at that time. And uh, the game basically just kind of petered out. It's like, oh, no, nobody wants to see this. Oh, it's was this kind of like stylized Dungeons and Dragons st uh, board stuff. But I think this game uh, aged really well. Um, because, uh, like I said, the game innovates on lots of things. No, oh, she's blinded, I think. The game innovates on lots of things, so uh, that the uh, 
<laughs> current RPGs at the time didn't uh, dare uh, try. Um, like this kind of um, experimental play style um, and a really, really unique system for gaining levels. And I should know, I made the tutorial for this game. Ah! Finally. Um, at this point in game, I think... Let's go ahead and just put, press diffuse, just in case there's a trap set. Let's keep it up here. Um, things like, don't just open chests, you need to diffuse any traps there. Okay. Um, it's locked, so we need to use uh, the locksmith skill to unlock it. You know, things like typical RPG fare uh, that got inspired from like D and D. Yep, and the game just basically released in the U.S. without kind of any proper support or fanfare or any tutorials and it just like okay I don't know what I'm doing how could I appreciate something that is um you know not explained yep see and over here let's move again and we get paying some money yeah but the game is has a relatively uh non-linear a uh, system of learning your skills, which in that in of itself should uh, increase the replay value of this game by a lot. But I've been sidetracked for far enough. Let's go ahead and heal a little bit and go back here to see what monsters we face. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep attacking veggie plants here. And like I said, um, we thrust ourselves into some LP damage, and we're good. Monster left a treasure chest behind, which is cool. Can't remember if this goes down uh, will be the exit or not. So let's go ahead and uh, use the fuse on it first. And uh, open it. Okay, still locked. Yep. Nice. Okay. And this is prime streaming material because this is um, a an RPG, so it takes a lot of time to play. Okay, good. Oops, pitfalls. Pitfall traps, everyone dies. Ah. Um, it is important to keep yourself healed up. Here, by um, pressing what's well, actually the R3 button. Or LL3, either way. Okay. Look out here. Nice dodge. Nice saving throw. Oh. There's a treasure chest here, and ooh, some veggie plants. Let's do the same attack as before. Why I'm doing punches, if you wonder. Punches actually have the best uh, uh, stats in the game for what's going to be um, the majority of our skill panels. 
Oh no, vine whip. Another vine whip. Right. Nice deflection there. Couple of punches. Nice. And a sonic thrust to end this off. Very cool. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys right now. Here's what I'm doing. I'm definitely using save states. And why I'm using save states is because um, I'm not able to um, use uh, the soft reset button, which is pressing four buttons at the same time and then select start. So I'm using save states instead. And let's have a look here at this area. Okay, nothing there. Let's have a look at the high road. Okay, it's a couple of spikes, that's fine. Yeah. Let's heal up a bit. And I think... No, that's the wrong button. I can't remember which one does it. There we go. You can look at the amount of turns we have sunk into this particular little map. And I believe this is a spot where I'm going to save. And I think it's this way. Okay. And here we are. The ever so infamous tablet screen. Um, you pick a set of skills to be able to um, play this, uh, to, to, you know, basically choose all these um, uh, skills to be able to put on your character. Um, and I think it's important that um, you'll see here that um, once I select punch here, that immediately, uh, if I press the, this here, um, if you look over here on the top, and I don't have a way to highlight anything, but yeah, you can see that on the top is the strength value. So basically all you need to do is make sure your strength value is high. And the best way to do that is to use um, melee panels. Mm. Yes. Next is all these really nice skills here. But um, what we're going to do is a bit unconventional is we're going to replace one of Henri's um, skills with the sharp eye skill. And why that is important is because Henri will be um, our yeah, prototypical uh, thief setup. And as you can see, the more you participate in battle, the more HP grows. And final confirmation here, we're all set. Um, and I've been testing the, the game before. And that's going to be pretty much it for this particular episode. And let's see if this series regains uh, kind of enough traction. If you guys enjoyed it, then please let me know. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you uh, try our membership program if you haven't already. It really does have, um, it does help me out. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Nice 60 frames per second for this recording. It's me and Biggie, and I'll be back. Bye, guys.